Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be building a real time project in which i will be compressing the files which will include videos and images to a single zip file and i will be doing this process inside node.js and express programming language so this is a short little demo on the screen that we will be building in this video here you will have a upload files button here you can select as many images as you want let's suppose i select one two three four five if I select these images, 5 images and click on the download zip button, it will create this zip file for me. You will see this is a zip file. If I show in folder, you will see the size of this zip file is 297. If I cut this and let's suppose if I paste it on my desktop and uh, this will contain all the files which were there inside the which I selected. If I just extract it here if I make a new folder here if I drag this folder inside this if I click on the extract here option if I extract this file you will see all the images that were present 1 2 3 4 5 now you can see the size difference it has considerably reduced the size because we have transferred all the files into a single zip file so this is the advantages of using compressed files inside your applications. So you can even use uh, videos as well. Let's suppose if I refresh this and this time I will use videos instead of images. So I will see, uh, let's suppose I select this first and this second video. If I select these two videos, if I click download zip file, so it will create the zip file for me, which will include these two videos. So if I click the download option, so now you can see that this is the 37 kilobytes is there. This is the output file that it has created. If I cut this file and if I transferred it to this directory, so this is a zip file. If I extract here, you will see this will contain two video files, which we have, you can see that. And now to make this application it is very easy we are using a library called as ADM zip so if you go to npmjs.com node package manager website and you search for this package which is ADM dash zip this is the name of the package the very first link which comes in click on this so the command is pretty simple you need to npm i ADM dash zip so it's a very popular package almost 2 million weekly downloads is there it's an open source package and various examples is also given to you and now to get started all the source code regarding this tutorial is given in the video description you can go to my blog and step by step blog is there copy paste the source code from this blog here and I will be making use of it inside this video so now to get started I will go to my projects directory so here inside my desktop we have this projects directory and here I will open the command line so I will make a directory compress files I will cd onto this compress files and first of all I will initialize a new package.json file by invoking this command npm init dash y now we will install express which will be our server Malter we will install it for uploading files to the node.js server we will install this library adm-zip and we will also install nodemon for restarting the server when we made any sort of changes so this will install these packages inside the application so just wait it will take some time after this we will open this inside our visual studio code text editor so if you go to the video description you will find all the source code so you can simply copy paste this source code by clicking the copy button which is there inside this editor so simply click the copy and you will have all the source code so this is this is a very handy application where you have various files you need to transfer this files inside a single zip file so you can make use of this application so it is just installing it so just wait so this totally depends upon your internet connection so now it has successfully installed it now let me just open this inside visual studio code text editor 
so the very first thing that you need to make is you need to add a uh, Nodebound script inside your package.json so you will find this package.json file in your root directory so inside this this will contain some information about your project such as name version description and here you just need to change here the start script so here what you will do we will initialize this to nodemon index.js and now we simply need to create this index.js file and first of all we will make a simple express app we need to require it so make a app variable and initialize it to express and then we will use app.listen and we will listen on port 4000 and then the second callback is console log app is listening on port 4000 we also need a sim simple get route when we open the home route we will load a simple HTML file here this will be simple response.send file uh, send file we will have dir name index.html so we will create this index.html file here so here we will write some we will use some bootstrap so we will change the title that generate zip file so inside this I have written the code for the HTML so you can just copy paste it from here from inside my blog so I will not write it it will waste the time so this is we have the simplest of heading compressed files to zip file and then we have a simple form which is making a post request to this URL compress files and here we are uploading multiple files we have an input field here we have given a name attribute of it to file and then we have a simple button of download zip file and now we can start our application by invoking this command which is npm start so this will start the application at port 4000 so you will see a message here that app is listening on port 4000 if I open this you will see it is saying oh sorry we need to put a slash inside index.js you need to put a slash here so if I open this you will see compressed files you can see it will open this so just wait So it is taking some time here so just wait you can see this is our template so if I click choose files so here I can select the files that needs to be compressed so now we simply need to make this post request app.post slash compress files so the second argument will be request response and here first of all what we need to do is that we need to upload these files on the server so for that we will import the malter dependency so we need to require this so we need to create uh, these directories dynamically so I will create this by this code here I have written this code various times so you need to create this directories dynamically so I will let me just check here yes this is a code here so you need to I will simply paste this code here after this line so we are using this FS module file system module which is a built-in module in Node.js so just require this FS module 
and then on the left hand side you will see it will create this public directory and inside this we will have the uploads directory inside this we will upload the files so it has created this programmatically we are using this code we are checking in inside this if condition if these directories doesn't exist then we are making these directories by the make directory sync function after making these directories we just need to use the storage inside our malter library so for making this storage we have given this source code inside the description so we will tell malter where to store these files so inside the storage we, are, we, we will use the disk storage method of malter and here we will provide the address public slash uploads and also we need to use this middleware which is app dot use express dot static we will make this public folder as static and we this line is useful for express to know that so add this line also so after this we need to make another variable inside this variable we will pass this storage option and then we will call this malter inside this we will pass the storage and the second attribute is the limits how much size that you want so I will restrict the let's suppose the file size to only uh, we will have the file size max size will be equal to 10 MB so 10 MB will be equal to 10 multiplied by 1 to 4 multiplied by 1 to 4 so 1 to 4 multiplied by 1 to 4 is equal to 1 MB and we are multiplying it to 10 here so this will equal to 10 MB so you can e only upload 10 MB files and now we will pass this compress middleware compress files upload and there is a array method which allows you to upload multiple files and here we will give the name attribute that we have given inside index.html this is equal to file this needs to be same and the second argument that how many files that you need to upload I will provide 100 so a user can upload 100 files at one time and that's it guys sorry this needs to be passed inside the post request so let me just delete it and paste it here and now to check it if the files are successfully uploaded we will check it inside this if condition if request.files we will use the for each loop to print the path so we will change this to file so we will console log the path so console log file.path so you will see if I go to the application if I once again refresh it if I click choose files and let's suppose if I go to my images if I select these two images click on download zip file and check the console you will see path is not defined so we also need to include the path module which is again a built-in module so require it so once again if you see if I select and if I check the command line you will see it will print out the path of the images and also if I check in the left hand side these images are there inside the public uploads folder so it is successfully being uploaded now we simply need to convert these files and store it inside a single zip file for that we will be including this module which is ADM zip we will require it ADM dash zip so after requiring it we need to use this module inside our post request so after having all these paths we will inside this post we will make a new zip file it will be equal to new ADM zip so now we just simply need to call this constructor so inside this there is a function inside this zip library which is add local file so add local file you just need to pass the path so this will add these files to the zip file now to create this resultant file here we will use a function 
if you go to my blog you will find this after adding add local file we will write this file onto the system by using write file sync method here you can pass the file name let's suppose i pass here output dot zip here so in the next argument you need to pass zip to buffer so basically this will return all the things which are there inside the zip file you can see it returns the con content of the entire zip file so we are creating this output dot zip so hopefully if i execute this you will see it will create this file onto the local file system if i go to the home direct home path if i select again these three images if i click download zip file and if i check the directory here you will see it will create this output dot zip file you will see it has successfully created this zip file now the job is pretty simple we need to download this file as the attachment to download this we will use response dot download and here we will pass let me store this inside a variable so that it will be easy for us so output path so we can dynamically generate the name by using date dot now and we can concatenate output dot zip and then we can pass this variable instead of statically writing the path in this way we can simply download this path output path and this also returns a callback where we can check the error if any sort of error takes place in downloading it we can send a simple message that error in downloading zip file and hopefully if i refresh it now it will download this zip file as the attachment so if i select these three files click download zip file you will see it will download this zip file as attachment really easy and now we also need to delete these files because we need not have to store files inside our server so to delete the files once the process is over we, we will use this again this for loop for each we will use the for each loop once again for each Uh, request dot files file and fs dot unlink sync we will pass the path that needs to be deleted and also at last we will also delete the output file which is output path we will pass here and same i will do this for if any sort of error take place that's it so now you will see it will also delete the file after the after it is completed so let me just delete these files here which are stored let me delete this inside this public folder we also need to delete this and now if you carry out the process once again if uh, if you upload files If you download zip file it will download the zip file and if i check the directory structure no files will be stored you will see the file structure is empty so now we, after processing it we will also be deleting it so this is the whole application guys if you upload a larger file size greater than 10 mb let's suppose i upload a video which is greater in size this is 82 mb if i click on download zip file you will see a error which will be file too large here you will see this is error so validation is also there so this is a complete project that we have built we have uh, completed this project on generating a zip file using this adm.zip library in node.js and express please hit the like button guys and download all the source code inside the video description go to the video description and get the whole source code thanks very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial